Hey, Mr. Homeschool. Hi, Mr. Homeschool here. So today's lesson is going to be all about tools. Yeah. I have my assistant here today to pass me tools and ask me questions, right? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> what is this called? That is a hammer. What is it used for then? So a hammer is used to drive a nail into something else or into the wall. And the interesting thing about hammers is that the top of it is heavy. So it's important and it helps you to use the weight of it to your advantage and let the weight do the work for you. you what are these? These are screwdrivers. So the most popular ones are flathead and Phillips head. And the most important lesson today, because it relates to all different things in your life, is righty tighty, lefty loosey. So if you want to tighten something, you go right, which is like clockwise. And if you want something to be loosened, you go left, like counterclockwise. Okay, I know this is called a drill, but what uh, what do you use for it to put things in? Okay, like, what's the thing so this is so this is a drill. They could be electric or battery powered. This is like a faster version of a manual screwdriver where you can where it can just go really fast so it's the same thing righty tighty and lefty loosey and on the top of it you can change out the drill bits to whatever you need it for so, what are these little things <laughs> these little things are called wrenches so so there's a wide variety of different wrenches but these are the top few that that i know of you have you have your open end of wrenches which you would need to have the specific size for that nut or bolt to turn. You have an adjustable wrench, which could be adjusted with this little thing here. And then you have a socket wrench, or a ratchet wrench rather, um, that you can go right onto a nut or bolt if you can't access the middle of it. This looks like one of the ones in my math box, but it looks big. Oh yeah, this is a, this is called a tape measure. This is measuring different things. So this is great to either measure something that you already have and, and you know needs to measure it, or if you have to cut a piece of wood, for example, you can measure it and know exactly where to cut. I know the name, which is pliers. Yep. What can you do with these? So yeah, these are pliers. So this is kind of like a regular blunt side. This is great to grab pieces of metal or anything that's hard to grab with your bare hands. And then... Wait, I know a saw. Yes, you saw a saw. That's right, this is a saw. This is for obviously sawing wood. This is a very small old school manual saw, but there's obviously jig saws and electric saws and table saws and ones that are very dangerous, but they go really fast and you just push the wood right through and just cuts it for you. What is this called? These are levels, so I... So this is a big one, and this is a little bullet one. Um, these are to make sure that whatever project you're working on is perfectly level. So if you're hanging a picture in your bedroom, or if you're working on a project outside, you want to make sure that it's exactly level, so it's not crooked. Uh, so, so that's it for today. I hope you learned a lot about tools. Yes, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this, and God bless you. Hey, Mr. Home School.